Hi everyone, it's Raja and Gomek, and you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion, Fashion. Photo, Photo Review. Today we're going to be tooting and booting the looks from the main stage of season 14 of. Today's theme is holy couture. Today's challenge is one that uh, that allows the girls to represent their spirituality. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Whatever your belief is, show it onto the stage. You could be a uh, Catholic, Jewish, Muslim, Hindu, agnostic, atheist, uh, satanic. pagan, satanic worshiper, anything. You worship. Shall it as represent. represent? If it were your challenge, like if this were, this were one that you had to do, what would you do? Like, mm. what is what do you do? You feel like you have an actual like belief system that you would represent? I'd be like, I'm full yeah. Catholic, and somehow I'd end up. I was like, the devil's <laughs> in this in the Catholic religion, and so I'd come out as Satan. Like, yeah, you always yeah. find the worst. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I always find the worst. <laughs> <laughs> but mostly, bitch, I believe in it, all of it. All of it. God is in all of us, ladies and gentlemen. And us in him, her, Sherm. There, God is genderless as, you know oh, what I'm saying? yes. Like, how could you even think that God has a gender is ridiculous to me because God literally created. A spiritual being of a gender is so funny. So <laughs> stupid, who thinks that way? No, not <laughs> us, not here, not. Not on Fashion Photo Review! Never! Category is Holy Couture. Deja, Deja Sky. <gasps> Joan of Arc Artistry. A rough Elizabethan. I like the idea of Joan of Arc. The hair yeah. is sick. I, I do love like the hair. hair. Her, yeah. yeah, the hair is really great. The makeup is great. But the outfit, meh. Yeah. God damn it. Mm -hmm. Nah. That yeah. Santiali belt. I do think that if something is spiritual, it should have some sort of like something grand, something mm -hmm. that is beyond human. Yeah. And I really just kind of think that this is just some sort of like kind of mediocre cosplay. Yeah. You know, I like do it agree. doesn't take me to costume. I'm not inspired by it. And this is something that, you know, I mean, this is a missed opportunity. Not my favorite look. Chintzy, a little bit. You know, staple gun together. Yeah, and that like rough piece, like the in the back, it's like knocking. No, it not back. not so much. Like it needed uh, talismans, it needed jewelry, it needed something that said Joan of Arc. It could have mm -hmm. used chainmail. It could use a sword. She could have been, uh, you know, in flames. Oh. Like there's nothing that says Joan of Arc. This just says like some really comfortable cosplay that you would wear to Comic Con harder pieces like you can just see the back like of the fabric it's just it's not giving the choice of fabrics are definitely choices to me i think and then also just like the whole silhouette and construction just is i just don't think it's giving divine yeah. I'm not always a fabric Maybe. snob because I think that fabric, any type of fabric can be turned into something glamorous if done correctly, if the construction is done interestingly. Um, this is, there's just not enough of it. Like mm -hmm. if that skirt should be at least five times as full and billowing, yeah. it needs more. It needs okay. more, it needs more, more structure, more something. Love your hair. I really do like this hair for her. Yeah, like the lot. hair is really good. I would even judge even further and yeah. get some more height in that That would thing. be good on you. The styling, meh. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna boot this one. I'm gonna boot this one. Next, we bring to the stage Jasmine Kennedy. Ooh. Oh, so, oh, so. Oh, she's a Gemini. Okay, that helps. Oh, and a reveal. Okay, okay. I'm living. I think she me looks too. beautiful. I'm not just because she's a Gemini like me. I mean, I love a black and white memento. Mm -hmm. I love like just the clear division representing her Gemini memento, which is everything to me. And then the way she has brought that like gold applique, it looks so expensive. And then she brought it in with her headpiece. It's literally all very cohesive and stunning. And then she like ripped off and I love the reveal. It is giving me galaxy space astrology art. Like that looks 
she looks amazing. I mm -hmm. love it. I love a reveal. I love that she's gone with something that's really astrology based, which mm -hmm. is a spirituality on its oh, own. Oh, for sure. So I really appreciate this. I like this look. I think she looks fantastic. That headpiece is magnificent. I especially love the reveal. The me thing too. underneath really excited me the most. Her makeup looks stunning. Why do girls be wanting to like contour like that? The temple so much, and it causes these like two brown like spots. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like she contoured it like purple. You know what I'm saying? But like right in the forehead, I think that a lot of queens think that they always have to like, um, that they have to contour that area and then it ends up looking like your head's dented in on two sides. <laughs> yeah. But otherwise, whatever, what am I saying? She <laughs> looks great. She looks beautiful. She's giving us astrology. She's giving us space case and I'm into it. Yeah. And I give it a two. Two oot. Next we bring to the stage, Angeria. Miss Angie. Oh, baby. Yes. Like the fabric choice, everything is so literally like Sunday. Mm -hmm. Sunday best. Mm -hmm. It's called your Sunday best. This is actually an epitomized um, story of American spirituality within the black community for damn sure. The hat, honey, at church represent millinery and she looks fabulous. Oh, I literally love it. Love. If you could represent your culture in any other way, I don't know how. This, she's from the South. So this is what she grew up with and she looks like she is going to church in her best. She looks Gorgeous. I amazing. love this. Me too. Everything is constructed stunning. Like the silhouette is amazing. The proportions. Down to the detail of the fan in her hand, you know, because it's a warm Sunday it's after crystal. a fun, warm Sunday morning in the church and everyone is fanning themselves. And honey, when the spirit hits you, you need to blow that fan a little harder. The yes. fan is fabulous. She looks fantastic. I give her a two. Two. Duh. Next, we bring to the stage Willow Pill. Willow Pill, giving us holes. I mean, hey, worship nature. Like, oh. this is the first one of its kind on this runway tonight. She is making a total statement here by saying that she is into some mushrooms. Yeah, I mean, I definitely think mushrooms might be my spirituality as well. <laughs> so I relate, I Baby, live. I get all of this. It's amazing. I love Willow Pill for this. I love that she's representing and and also artfully done. Like there's artistry. It's, it's really adorable mushroom raver, right? It's amazing, yes. She just knows her body and her shapes and I'm like even the like ombre of the tool or whatever that is being like a little mm -hmm. red like it's just so good yeah. the makeup the red like it's mm -hmm. just so mm -hmm. good would i say that everything that she does is drag excellence absolutely not but <laughs> she definitely tells a goddamn good story and i really appreciate the stuff that she does she tells a story i like this story it's all about the mushrooms and yes please yeah i mean that's my favorite part about fashion is storytelling and making us feel what you're feeling what you believe in and i get there with her so it is a toot from me willow pill gets a big old toot from me next we bring to the stage diabetes <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Why am I laughing? Oh. I love that hair so much. How do you think she could have prevented that fall? <laughs> I love it when people fall on the runway. <laughs> That's amazing. I need that hair. <laughs> No, her outfit, it's not like exquisite, but it is drag because, you know, who has not seen a wedding dress at the thrift shop and wanted to just take it home and wear it and rework it, right? Yes. There's so much fabric, there's so much ruffle, but the fall. Look at her ankle. I'm gonna die. Oh, ay, ay, ay. I don't even know if that shoe was like necessary for this look. I actually am not sure about that shoe with this well, look. Well, she was going for like Gaga. She wanted to be like Judas, you know? So like maybe like if, if it were an ankle boot, yeah, it would might have been easier to 
walking, don't you find sometimes like yeah. ankle boots are like, like that support? If it was like black or something and she hung a bunch of those crosses from it or something right. cool. Right. I don't like the black tights. I wish there was more of like a shape. Like I wish she like cinched and added more like hippie moments. I don't think she really altered it that much at all. Right. It's like she just kind of pulled it up and put a bunch of crosses on it. And I find the look to be very top heavy. There's every all anything that's interesting is from the waist up. Anything below the waist is kind of like, you have a black tight on. Like literally that's like winter wear if you live in like a snowy neighborhood and you're like, you know, then you put on like tights, like a black, I don't know. I just don't love it. I think it should be a fishnet. I think it needs a little bit of sex oh. to it. It's an awkward length. I don't like a black tight. That stripper heel was just waiting for her to fall off of it. It could have been better. Right? Oh. Like all the pieces are there. Oh, it for sure could have been better. Look at I how think. makeup is pretty, her hair. It's exact, straw, straw. I love the hair. I need that hair. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna boot this. Could have been better, but I think I'm gonna toot it. Can we see the fall? Oh, one more time. Let one me see time. the fall. Please. <laughs> Her ankle is broken. Oh my God. <laughs> Cheers to all the queens who have fallen, gotten their asses back up, and gone about their day with pride and um, fierceness. Next to the stage we bring, Georgias. Georgias. Oh, oh my God. Um. Oh my gosh, she smokes the ganja, baby. She's the Pope of Pot. I love this! My, she's giving Catholicism, like classic, like Catholic shapes, and then saying, oh, but baby, it's about the ganja. She's putting the Virgin Mary into marijuana, honey. Yes. She is pious. She is pot. She is the Pope. She loves weed, and I get it, honey. If there was an actual religion, I would go to that goddamn church and give them all of my tithings. Everything is fitted, proportionized. Like the fabrics are stunning and draped perfectly. The, even the joint looks expensive. Like it's perfect. And the gold shoe with the gold like end of the joint. It's just so good. Why are we not stoned now? I mean, I am, but. I'm not. Okay. And yeah. the blue hair is fun. Yeah. I love it. Like, I love this look. It literally is head to toe, literally perfect. I don't even know what you would ever change. It's perfection head oh to toe. God. That joint looks so goddamn good right now. Oh, I know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wanna take a break, Gorge? <laughs> two! Two! It's a goddamn two! It is a two. Oh. You better watch out, Laganja. The queen is coming for your gig. <laughs> Next, we bring to the stage Lady Camden. I always say, you know, I hate doing this, but Please. you expect it from me at this point. But when I was a little drag queen, we, I actually went to the premiere um, at that uh, local theater in Orange County and went to go see the Spice Girls movie. And we all dressed oh. up like the Spice Girls and I was Scary Spice. Of course. There was five of us total. But that's what this gives me. It gives me nostalgia. I love it. I love the Spice Girls. I love the swear boots. I love the, the animal print. And obviously the Union Jack that says, Miss Camden, she <laughs> from England. The most gorgeous, like faded sequins. Like uh -huh. it is so beautiful. And the fabrics are stunning. The This is what I wanted out of her entrance look. When yes. she did that candy thing. And I was like, oh my God, you're doing a baby spice like raver. You should just go there. And this is, she's doing it. Everything is head to toe perfect. This yeah. is like the amp up that I needed from this diva. And she delivered. It is, yeah. it's so good. This I'm obsessed. her ass. Aesthetic. Oh, I love it. The earring, like, it just looks amazing. Her makeup looks, like, softer this week. I don't know. She just mm -hmm. looks beautiful. I give Lady Camden a two. I also give Lady Camden a two. You've killed it. Killed mm -hmm. it. I love it. Next, we bring to the stage... Busco! Oh. oh. Oh, she's kind of the devil, too, because she's got, like, oh. I have it reveal. I love that. Have it reveal is everything. Let's make it a habit, <laughs> I'd say. Gosh. I'd say. More habit reveals. Please. Uh, I literally love how she took a classic nun moment and made it demonic horror. 
you know, it's synonymous. It's like, you know, if you're going to be a nun, you're also a demon. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, duh. Like, you know, who doesn't think that way? And every week, I'm happy to see her ass. I'm uh, me you. too. <gasps> Baby, if you got it, flaunt it. Honey. And if it still sits up that high and your hole isn't blown out, mm. Or if it is, I don't care. I don't either. I get Please, it. everyone, show your way. Out. Yeah, Lady Camden can sit on yours and she'll sit on mine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do think that week after week she has shown her assets, and I am not one to complain, ex- especially from her. Mm-hmm. But um, I mean, it always works. It always fits with the theme, and that's who she is. Trend alert, Ash. Ash. <laughs> uh, I just, I'm living, I think she looks beautiful. I think her body can totally take this kind of simple, sexy, provocative, and also thoughtful demon nun. It's so her. I love the shape of the habit. I love the size of the collar. I literally love everything going down the fabric choices. It's just so good. And I love how the hoof boot thing is just like sleek and clean. It's like a little demonic tabby boot. <laughs> demonic tabby. A demonic tabby. Oh my gosh. This week I think was like, even though this was similar to past looks from her, she loves a little Nakedness. little naked corset, mm-hmm. whatever, or not whatever, little naked corset one, two. But this week it was very on theme. It took me to that spiritual seductress nun. Like I feel like this is like, American horror story with a nun, like it's a horror. And this is giving me that. I love it. I love it. I love it. Mm-hmm. I give Bosco a two. Two. Trend alert. Psychedelic spirituality. Oh my God. I literally. So crazy. I love my world. I love the universe. Do you feel it? I feel it. Oh my God. Touch my chest. Touch my chest. Is that oh. tree talking to you or is it just me? Uh, oh my god, are you? Your tree. nipples are so hard. You're a tree. Oh. You're a tree. I'm a tree. I feel Those like we're one with nature. And it's and spiritual. I, I can't even see it. I'm gonna go lay down for 30. <laughs> <laughs> Our top, top two, two of the, the week, week is Georgias. 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 Give us Catholic bud. Catholic ganja loves it so much. Georgias. <laughs> Catch an all new episode of RuPaul's Drag Race season 14, Friday nights on VH1. And if you're not in the United States, Canada, or Australia, you can watch it on Wow Presents Plus. Wow Presents Plus, Wow Presents Plus, we love you. Wow. Oh my God, enough. <laughs> <laughs>